this is going to be a dumb question, and you gotta you gotta ask it anyway. It's been more than a week since you've held your baby girl. How are you holding up? Not very good. I miss my baby. I miss my little girl. people locally and nationally to know about her. I love her. She's a fun living little girl. She's eight in second grade. Um, she loves to color. She's very helpful. She always wants to make cookies. She sounds like she was uh, she was kind of mature for her age. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. I mean, she's just tiny. She was only weighed only four pounds when she was born. She's just a little baby. <laughs> um, what was the last thing she told you before she disappeared? <laughs> she loved me. And she wanted to ask if she can go play outside. I told her, yeah. And that was normal for her? That was, yeah. Outside, right? Yeah, every day. When was it? How soon after she said, Mom, can I go play outside, did you <sighs> say, well, where is she? Or well, what was the first thing that seemed unusual? Well, she didn't come home for dinner, or she didn't call me. And again, she so, was just going how far? Oh, maybe five houses down that's it so yeah and she did that frequently yes so she didn't come home for dinner no and she didn't call you no that's Is when you... oh, i'm sorry no, and ahead. that's when i got worried and I, I went out looking for her how long did you look for about an hour it just takes about an hour and where i live to did any of the neighbors see her did anybody say yeah i saw her going that way or uh I don't remember. Yeah. It's kind of all it's, of fun. No, I understand. But you called the police. They got yes, there. Yes, it did. Yes. What have you been able to get so far? The police told us today that a lot of their investigation is taking them outside of the Tracy area. They're talking to people outside of the area. That's about all I know. Are you getting much information from the police? No, I'm not. They're not able to tell you a lot? No. Let's... let's uh, Let's shift directions this way. Um, the two people who we have identified as persons of interest, how close were they to your daughter? Not very close. Were you uncomfortable with them around? No. Had they ever done anything that made you as a mom go, well, that's kind of weird? No. When this gentleman, um, and I interviewed him, Kissed your daughter on the lips two years ago. That one I don't I don't know about. You don't know about. I that didn't one. see the incident or anything. Okay. Have you talked to them since she disappeared? No. Tried to stay away. What have you done as hard as it's been? What has this last week been like? Are you staying at home? <sighs> staying at home here and there. I, I went to the store yesterday for a little bit. And that's about it. Been at home crying. Uh, it's been how many days now? Are we going too long? I mean, too. Long. <laughs> we always, we always hope that there's going to be a happy ending. If she is watching, and if someone does have her, what would you say to her or them? Please let her go. I need my baby. Just let her drop her off at the store, restaurant, somewhere, so she can come home. I need her. I miss her. And I love her so much. Angie, being with the family has taken on many roles for you because, I mean, you've done more in than you remember how to do. Has the national attention helped? Does oh. it seem like it's helped? Oh, yeah. Um, the tip increase has gone up a lot more from what I understand just having this nationally 
and we appreciate all of the media attention to get her face out there. She seemed, I mean, you, you watch her on surveillance, she's skipping away from the house, you watch her in the Christmas video, she's happy and um, do, do you think, and mom, I go back to you, do you think, and, and again, it's hard to fault a child, but do you think if she had any faults it would be that she was too friendly? No, I, I don't know. That was just her personality. I don't. I can't fault a child for having. I don't know. You want to follow up with some things? Yeah, let's uh, let's switch gears and talk about um, the charities and where the money is going towards, and we we'll, let's make sure everybody hears what you the message you guys want to get out because we want to make sure we say that. Um, the family would request that any monies that you want to donate to go to the reward fund, go to the Sun Carrington Foundation. Um, on the check, you need to put um, in the memo Sandra Cantu, and that's C-A-N-T-U. Um, or you can send it to Tracy Crime Stoppers. If you don't want to send a check and you want cash only, you can t take that down to the police station in Tracy. What is the money going to be used for? For a reward. Okay, so for a reward. And mm -hmm. at this point, it's... Up to how much? Last I heard it was 26000 20, 26000 Wow. Yeah. That's great. It's grown so much. Yeah. So, the, and you were saying earlier there's been some confusion as to the people take, people were taking the money and not putting it towards a reward? Um, we don't know that for sure, but there's been people um, selling t-shirts and doing bake sales and doing other things and we're not part of that, so we just want to make sure that people who are out there who really want to help and help with a reward that their money is going where it's supposed to go. Do you guys feel like the police have been very supportive in this? Do you feel confident that they've... You know, the, I mean, you know, the FBI has come in, I and mean, there's been a lot of, do you feel like they're, they're doing everything they can? Oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. They're working very hard together. Yes, they are. And we appreciate all of their efforts. They um, have been fantastic. We, let, me, let me ask you this. I mean, you hear a lot of, you know, we hear a lot of people, oh, somebody took her, oh, she, you know, this kind of stuff. What do you think happened? I think somebody took her. Somebody has her, because she wouldn't walk off. She wouldn't leave the mobile home park at all. I think somebody has her. Maybe somebody she knew. Did she, was she friends with a, with a lot of adults? That's where we lived. That's where she lived all since day one, since but I mean, she was were born. There, were there adults in the trailer park who would take her to the store to no. get her something? No. Okay. So no, no, nothing like that. No. Okay. But she knew people who lived around yes. like normal kids. Yes. Okay. Um, and this friend that she was going to see, did she ever meet up with the friend? I yes, she did. She did meet up. With she the friend. did. Yes. Did the friend g give you anything? I mean, did the friend see anything? No. No. Someone I asked, um, they said that she had told them that she had to go home and do some homework, and she never came. What else haven't we asked that you want to add? This is your opportunity and your chance yeah, to yeah, say whatever <laughs> to the world. I'm thankful for everybody's help. I'm really thankful. And if Sandra is out there, I love you. Mommy loves you very much. I'm just looking for you.